Hi, I'm Patrick George, blog dad at Jalopnik, and today we're going to show you five things you need to know about the 2018 Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. It's crazy. The Turbo S is the 911 you buy when you decide the regular turbo just isn't enough for you. It's just not fast enough, just not hardcore enough. This thing, you get 580 horsepower over the standard turbo's 540. And 540 is just not enough. It simply will not do you get the Turbo S. Zero to 60 in this car is quoted by Porsche at 2.9 seconds. An instrumented test by car and driver says it's 2.6 seconds. If that's accurate, I have no reason to believe it's not. This is a tenth of a second off the Bugatti Veyron and a tenth of a second off the McLaren P1. That would make this the second quickest car I myself have ever driven in service of this great website. It is very, very fast. The second thing you need to know is that it has its own bespoke special turbochargers unique to this engine. And we can see them not really at all right here. That's, that's modern cars for you. But this engine, the 3.8 liter flat six, has its own special turbochargers that are unique to the Turbo S. The two turbos are different from the one in the turbo and they force more air into it. And also, you feel good and special when you're driving around. You don't have to share the same turbochargers as all those other pours and plebes and regulars out there in their lesser 911s. You're special, you're beautiful, you deserve nice things. The third thing you need to know is that it's a lot wider than most 911s. 72 millimeters wider than a base Carrera, 28 millimeters wider than a Carrera 4. Wider is better, Pontiac said that. They're doing great these days. They definitely knew what they were talking about. So it's great to see that idea carried over here too to one of the more visually distinctive 911s that you can buy. The fourth thing you need to know is that it still starts with an actual key. And it goes in the left, here. There's no button, there's no fob where you sit in and press something. It's an actual key you insert and then twist. That's kind of nice. Um, it's on the left side, and if you're a car enthusiast, I'm more than likely telling you something you, you already know. But uh, back in the days of running starts at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, Porsche put their ignitions on the left side so that their drivers could run into the car, start the car with their left hand, put it in gear with their right hand and then go. Obviously that's not on several levels something that happens anymore, but it's a great historic thing they carry over to their sports cars today. And I like that it starts with a regular key and not a button. It's, it's, it's a little bit old school in that way and a very modern car. The fifth thing you need to know about the 911 Turbo S Cab is sport response. That little toggle thing sticking up the steering wheel right there lets you set between comfort, sport, and sport plus modes. But the real party trick is that center button. That activates sport response, which maximizes the response from the engine, throttle, and gearbox, and gives you all of this car's maximum power and acceleration for 20 seconds all at once. And it is awesome and terrifying and incredible to use. All right, sport response. 